everybody, so this is going to be another empties video. I haven't done one in a couple months, so I have quite a bit happening here. It's kind of overflowing my basket here. So if you don't know what an empties video is, basically I hang on to my trash, the things that I have used up over the past couple of months, and I tell you whether or not I like them, if I've repurchased them or not, and kind of what I thought about them. So yeah, I'm just gonna dive right in and get started. The first thing actually keeps falling out, so I'll start with that. This is from Numi. I got this from an Ipsy bag, and it's the hair mask. That's what it looks like there. I was really excited to try it out because I've heard great things about it. I only got two uses out of this, so it wasn't a whole lot of product, even though it looks rather large. Um, I would say it's a decent hair mask, but not something I would go out and purchase, just because I love the Macadamia Deep uh, hair, hair Repair mask that one you know the one in the tub I love that one so so much nothing can compare at this point I don't think this is a bad hair mask I just wouldn't go out and repurchase it all right next is a shampoo from L'Oreal it's the ever strong sulfate free botifying shampoo That's what it looks like I really love the um, L'Oreal Evercream line the one that's in the kind of beige container. I love that line I thought I'd branch out and try the more botifying version to give my hair some kind of you know Body and lift but uh, it didn't really do anything and to be honest after I don't know a couple weeks of using it I felt like it just wasn't even cleaning my hair that well So it definitely didn't give my hair any body and I didn't like the way it cleaned my hair. So nope I would not be precious Next is a coconut body butter from Trader Joe's. I went through this pretty darn quickly for a body butter because usually these things last me forever. That's what it looks like. Quite similar to the Body Shop body butters, nice and thick like that. However, without um, the super greasy feeling that that's left with some of those body butters. This was very moisturizing, a little bit more lightweight, but still thick in consistency. Um, it went on a bit greasy, but then dried to not greasy. So if you don't like that greasy Body Shop body butter, then you might want to check this out. It smells delicious. I will definitely repurchase. I think it was only a couple dollars. It was really inexpensive and I just loved it. The ingredients are really good too. It says made with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. So that's a definite win. I'm going to pick that up again. This I have had forever. I have no idea where I got it, but I finally went through it because now that I live in um, our new house, we have a big bathtub, so I'm taking more baths and yeah, it's called Alpine or Alpine Secrets Spa Peaches and Cream. It's a milk bath. This made lots of bubbles. Um, it was very creamy. I liked it. I wish I knew where it was from. I have no idea. I feel like it may have, it, it was either a gift or I may have gotten it from the dollar store a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna say too much about it because I don't even know where I got it from, but I liked it. So if you see it, I liked it. Okay, the next one's a little sample guide. This is the coconut shower cream from the body shop. Um, I just used this up recently in my shower and to be honest, I wasn't a fan, which I'm kind of surprised about because I really like the body shop products, especially the coconut line, but the shower cream, um, it just didn't lather well. It didn't even smell that good. It smelled a little bit like coconut, but a little bit like plastic at the same time or chemicals. I don't know if this is just a really old one. Um, but it wasn't super moisturizing at all. I just wasn't a fan. I've tried the, this is the shower cream. What have I tried? Another one of the coconut shower gels. I don't think it was the gel, but I've tried another version of the coconut one and I really liked it. So this one was just a dud. I'm kind of sad about that. All right, I have a hair mask here. This is the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Intensive Moisture Mask from Organics. That's what it looks like there. Um, I was hoping this would be similar to the actual macadamia brand hair mask and now that I've tried both, it is not. It is not similar at all. Um, I wouldn't even consider this a conditioner. I'm okay, maybe I'd give it a conditioner, but I don't know. Um, it just wasn't super hydrating. It felt nice to put it on, but once I rinsed it out, I didn't feel like it really penetrated my hair and left it extra soft or anything like that. So there are other drugstore hair masks I like far above and beyond this. So I definitely would not repurchase that hair mask. All right, I have a Pure Paradise body lotion from Bath & Body Works. I have been keeping this in my car just as a hand lotion, and I probably had it in there for a year. I finally used it up. I like Bath and Body Works hand lotions. They're not super more. They're not super moisturizing like a body butter, but just something quick and easy. They smell delicious. They're really inexpensive, so I would repurchase. I have a couple of them hanging around. So, 
mascara um when did i mention this oh products i regret buying so obviously i would not repurchase this this is the rimmel scandal eyes show off mascara so it looks like it just is just bad it came so dried out it didn't do anything for my lashes it probably made them worse so i was really unimpressed with this and i not only would i not buy it i would recommend others not to purchase it so that's saying a lot all right i threw one of these in here i go through these all the time I, I probably use one or two of these a day uh, and they're my favorite facial cleansing wipes I've talked about them in the past but I haven't talked about them in a while so I thought I'd mention again it's the Kirkland signature daily facial palettes they come in a large pack at Costco kind of like the baby wipes do and they're so good oh, I have one here it's a little bit dirty but they're nice and big um, they're always wet they're durable they've got they're quilted um, they remove my makeup and they cleanse my face. They're strong enough for that and they're just a perfect size. They're inexpensive because they come in a giant box. So it's just win, win, win. Love those. We'll forever keep repurchasing those. Next is a hairspray. This is the Tresemme Tray 2 hairspray. This is level 3 hold. I really love this hairspray. Um, it does hold my hair. I'm using the, I think it's the 4 or 5 version now. The three was okay, but the four or five does hold my hair and doesn't leave it crunchy, um, doesn't leave it sticky, and that's why I like it, because I can touch my hair afterwards if I if I use the hairspray to keep it in place. I can still touch it and it doesn't get sticky, and it's drugstore, so yay, I would definitely repurchase that, and I have before. Um, this is the Crest 3D White Arctic Fresh Icy Cool Mint Mouthwash. It was okay. Um, which one am I using right now? The Colgate one, I think. I think I like that one better. This one just had a really harsh taste to it, and it wasn't my favorite. The one I'm using now is more mild, and I can handle it better, but um, it did leave my mouth feeling fresh, and I think it did whiten my teeth, so that's that. But no, I probably wouldn't repurchase that particular flavor or brand. The next one is another Bath & Body Works product. This is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Creamy Body Wash. Now, I love this scent, particularly in body sprays and the candle version, but as a body wash, it just wasn't that great. I think this is the first Bath & Body Works body wash I've ever tried. Yeah, you can kind of smell it. It does smell like warm vanilla sugar, but I don't know, as a body wash, it didn't lather well, it didn't clean well, it was drying, not moisturizing. Uh, I went through it really quickly and it didn't leave any, like it barely even scented up the shower, let alone left me feeling scented afterwards, if that makes sense. So, I mean, it was inexpensive. I got it on sale, but probably not something I'd be repurchasing. I bought a couple of them, so I have a few different like scents to go through. So I gotta use them up, but gotta say not my favorite. All right, this came in a Ipsy bag as well. This is the Absolute Making Makeup Cleansing Tissues. And I wish I remembered. I know I used them up, so they couldn't have been terrible. They smelled good. Oh, there I remember now. They were they were quite thin, but they did remove makeup, and they weren't quite big enough. So they weren't terrible. I've tried some terrible ones before. They were okay, but um, I love my Kirkland brown ones, and I will never stray away from those. So I would not repurchase. Oh, I don't know why I put this in here, but uh, I did. Okay, this is a little head. It's all mush now because it was in the bottom of the bin that was on my Olay Pro-X um, dupe for a Clarisonic little thing that I used to f scrub my face. I think I had this for about six months, maybe nine months, and it was just looking a little worse for wear. So I picked up a new one. Um, I think these replacements are only $10. So yeah, it just fits onto the Olay, I think it's called Pro-X thing I have, and then you cleanse your face with it, it exfoliates, and I love it, and yes, I would repurchase. Um, oh, I got some makeup here in the bottom. I went through a Sephora eyebrow pencil and I love these so much. It's a good color match. It's nice and thin. It's awesome. Um, it's water it is waterproof. I've worn it in the water, so it's fantastic for that reason. I probably will repurchase, although you go through it pretty darn quickly, which is the only downfall. It's not as expensive as the Anastasia or Anastasia brand, um, but it is more pricey than a drugstore brand, so it's kind of something I splurge on every now and then, but I absolutely love this eyebrow pencil. I think that's like my fifth one. Um, this I've had kicking around for a long time. This is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation. The color is 150 buff. This used to be my holy grail foundation for like about a year there. I really loved it. Just a little bit in there, but not enough for my whole face. Um, I still do really like it. It 
it's mattifying, which I really like, but I'm finding that my skin doesn't really need that anymore. It's very thick. You can get pretty full coverage with it. Um, the reason I stopped using it is because, like I said, I don't need the mattifying. I just felt like it was kind of heavy. You can definitely sheer it out, but I've found other foundations that do the job that aren't as heavy. So I saw this sitting in my drawer. I decided just to finish up the last bit of it. Um, would I repurchase it? If I was in a pinch and it was on sale, it works, but there's better drugstore options out there in my opinion. So that's my answer on that. And I still have a darker shade in it that I need to finish up. This is random. This is a clean well natural hand sanitizer. I picked up a bunch of these. I love hand sanitizer and I know they're not that great for you. Um, this comes in a spray version and it's alcohol free and it's made with more, it's safe for kids and made with more natural ingredients and things like that. I think I talked about this on my mommy channel, but um, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, this one I kept at work, so I went through quite quickly because I work in a public building. So I'm always spraying my hands. Sometimes I'll spray the room. Sometimes I'll spray door handles. I get a little crazy with the hand sanitizer, but I like it. It's got this like herbally scent to it. I feel better that it's not as bad as some of them out there, although I know I probably don't need hand sanitizer as much as I use it. Um, this is from The Body Shop. It's the Seaweed Mattifying Moisture Lotion SPF 15. This is the second one I've gone through. Love this. Uh, it's a moisturizer I can put on before makeup, doesn't affect my makeup, mattifies my skin prior, prior to makeup, has SPF in it, so it's fantastic in the summer. In the winter, I definitely need more moisturization, especially with my skin going more dry. So if I find myself oilier in the future or in the summer, it was definitely something I'd pick up. I'd still highly recommend it. It's just not perfect for my skin tone at the moment. Two last products. One is from Sugar, it's the Fresh uh, Lip Treatment. This was like a birthday perk two years ago now. Wow, I've had this for two years, that's crazy. It's a lip balm, used it all up. Really nice lip balm, super smooth, very moisturizing. Uh, a little bit flimsy because it is so smooth and creamy, so you gotta be careful not to break it. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, because I think these are really expensive and I don't know. I have a gluten-free brand lip balm that I love, and if I'm going to spend the money on it, I would keep repurchasing that one. So, But it is a really nice lip balm. And the very last one is down here. It's the Jordana Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner Pen. This one was in black. Really good, inexpensive pen or felt tip. My hands are all greasy now. Oh, there we go. Um, eyeliner from the drugstore. It was like $2, maybe even $3. I'm not sure. But works really well. Not too flimsy. You can get a pretty precise line. I would definitely repurchase. I can't get it here in Canada, at least that I've found. Although I've heard, I've heard someone left me a comment that I can. I just need to go check that out. But yes, when I head back down to the States, I will be picking up more because I like it and it's cheap. Well, let's see how long this video was. That's a long video. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in a comment down below. Definitely leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I love getting comments. Hit the like button. It definitely helps me out. And I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.